Alright, welcome back to the Scratch Gale guys, and today we're going to be raiding a game called Day Shift at Kerbos, created by Searchlighter08. Now, this actually has been recommended to me by my devs on Discord, they've been telling me to make it. If you guys didn't know, um, this game was originally supposed to be published on a, a game jam that I used to host, but it sort of died out. And uh, yeah, this was made in under, I would say, two weeks, I think. So, um, let's get started. That's some nice faucet water, though. Look at that. Look at all, <laughs> look at all that blows. Faucet water, faucet water, faucet water, faucet water. <laughs> Um, the first thing I want to point out actually that this is a joke game it isn't meant to be taken seriously But it's all somehow came out great. It kind of reminds you a bit like one out of flumpties. It just gives that vibe Now the game is good, but I first want to talk about the visuals. Its visuals aren't the greatest I would say it's the worst part about the game, but at the same time not bad It's cartoony like and I can see what they were going with it but I think they could have done more with it at the same time. But I will say I like the little details they add. Like if you click on certain objects, they will make some sort of animation. And it's cute and I, and I like it. And the characters too. I like how they added uh, Sans from Undertale. Uh, that giant Yoshi outside the door and that Donkey Kong barrel. It's pretty cool. I like it. But I'm going to get to the good stuff now. Um, I'm going to talk about its gameplay, which I think is the best part about the game. Believe it or not, actually, um, you won't actually get tired playing this game because there's just so much to do and a lot to keep track. And it doesn't really let you sit, just wait for something to happen, which I really enjoy. Especially when they come to your door and stuff like that and they do some cool animation, which is stuff I don't really see in Scratch games. So, yeah, it's... Well, amazing, I actually like that. Even though there are about four different characters, the game still somehow keeps you from being bored and stuff. And uh, yeah, it does have simple mechanics, but it doesn't take away the fun from the game. The audio use is pretty good. And the entire time I played through the game, I experienced no bugs at all. Which, uh, you remember in the past episode, I was talking about Dev's game. It also... It also didn't have any bugs. Well, it did have a bit of a bug, but it was fixed almost immediately. So it wasn't really nothing serious. So I would say this is a complete success for me. And uh, yeah, um, this game, like I said, was created in under two weeks. So this deserves big respects to Slider because this is actually a pretty good game. When I first heard about this game, I actually wasn't going to put it on the scratch scale because again it was going to be like a joke game it wasn't actually going to be anything good but i was dead wrong so yeah congratulations to slider and i like how it's nothing more than a joke game it's just for fun so anyways i'm gonna put this on the scale i'm gonna give it a total of 32 points which is an a tier so good job slider I'm going to link his game in the description below if you want to check it out. It seems like you guys enjoyed the first Scratch Girl video. So if we reach 7.5k subscribers, I will try and post two new episodes. And uh, yeah, that's about it. See you guys next time. Water.